Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, you guys are in store for a real treat. You have been requesting a barn quilt tutorial and I am giving you just that. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how I create a barn quilt and why I pick the colors that I do. And the reason I chose to do that today is that I am collaborating with DIY Paint and Debbie Beard, Jamie Ray Vintage, in a collaboration to kick off the new cottage colors. You heard me right. Six new cottage colors are coming out today and there is a playlist in the description. So go down after you finish watching my video, click on the playlist and there are going to be so many amazing creators showcasing the new cottage colors. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the video today and I hope you enjoy. Today's video was inspired by this color called Barn Quilt. If you've been following me for a bit, you will know that I absolutely love painting barn quilts. So in today's video, I am going to walk you through the process of how I paint a barn quilt. Now, first and foremost, let's introduce you to the six new cottage colors. And I know you guys are going to love them as much as I did when I first saw them. If you haven't heard of the Cottage Colors, they are curated by Jamie Ray Vintage and Debbie Beard of DIY Paint. It is their one-step paint colors, and these paints are absolutely amazing, you guys. Currently, there are eight available already. These are the additional six new colors, and Jamie Ray Vintage said when she was traveling in Europe, many of these colors were inspired by her recent travels. I can't wait to hear what your favorite color is out of all of these six. I know it is going to be a tough decision because they are absolutely gorgeous. Now that you've seen some of the colors that we're going to use on the barn quilt, let's really dive into what supplies you will need to paint a barn quilt. First and foremost, you need some type of board. And this is a 22 inch by 22 inch board that I have put together with one by sixes. So I took four one by sixes and I cut them down to 22 inches each and then I put them together. Next, you will need a ruler of some sort and a pencil and I definitely recommend an eraser. Uh, when I first started drawing out barn quilts, I made several mistakes and having an eraser to erase that pencil line is definitely key. Now that you have those supplies, what you'll need is a pattern. And I recommend going into different quilting books, looking for a pattern there. There are so many beautiful quilt patterns and that's where I found this star pattern as well. And when you are drawing out your pattern, you need to break it down into chunks. And this I have broke down into four sections or four chunks. And you can create any pattern on any size board as long as you can do a little math. And so you take the full measurement, which is 22 inches, and you divide it out by four. Now, one thing I do wanna note on here is that I do put a one inch border on here, so you have to subtract that off of there and then divide it out. And then it's very easy to figure out your pattern. So you take 22 and you subtract the one inch on both sides and you end up with 20 inches and you divide that out by four. So each section then is five inches. So that will help you divide that out and then you just start drawing out your pattern and really that is how simple it is. And you can do this, like I said, on any size board, as long as you have those key measurements ready to go. Here it is guys, the star is fully drawn out and now the fun gets to start. Uh, the difficult part is behind us and now we get to have fun and paint it. When painting the barn quilt, I do recommend starting with your border first. 
you'll want to tape off the entire perimeter and that's when I use my scissors to create a nice straight edge and the other key is once you get the tape laid down definitely take your finger and rub very thoroughly around the entire board you want to ensure that no paint is going to seep underneath you should not have any problem with the DIY clay base paint or the cottage colors because both of them are really good quality paints. It's only when it's like more of a watery paint you have to worry about that. Once you get this all down though, it's ready to paint and the color that I have chose for my border today is called Pacific and it is a beautiful blue. And I really think blue is making a comeback this year and I'm feeling all things blue. As we start painting the border, I should tell you a little story behind why I have a love of barn quilts. Many years ago, I was heading up north to northern Wisconsin where our cabin is, and I had noticed along the route that there were many barn quilts along the way. And I decided to do a little research and found out the meaning behind some of the barn quilts and that there's actually a barn quilt map in Wisconsin that you can log into and you can actually go around or drive around to all the different barns and see all these beautiful barn quilts. And at that point, I thought, why? I don't need a barn to have a barn quilt, right? I can have a barn quilt on my garage, over my fireplace mantle, near my back porch, you know, anywhere I want a barn quilt, I can have one. I just need to create them much smaller. And that is what I started doing. I started painting barn quilts in three different sizes, a 22 inch, a 33 inch, and a 44 inch. And and they were perfect for all different applications and then I started having just the time of my life picking out all these different amazing color combinations so I would let the colors speak to me and that is what we're gonna do in today's video we are going to pick and choose colors from the cottage color line and I am going to talk to you about why I am picking the colors that I am now that the border is dry, I am going to start picking colors for the center. The very first color that I choose is the exact same color as the border, which is Pacific. Each color is going to have four chunks painted that color. Now, if you remember, I talked about the barn quilt was broke down into four sections and the quilt itself if you take a line and draw it right across the center and then right down the center, each one is what I call a quadrant. And we are going to pick one chunk in each of those quadrants and we are going to tape those off. And that is what we're gonna paint that first color. Just like I did with the border, I apply one even coat over the entire section, and I do that to all four of these little chunks. The cottage colors are self-leveling, so they have not only amazing coverage, but they level off themselves, so you get very minimal brush strokes. What I do though is I apply the paint and then I swoop back over the entire section just to smooth it out, just to really help that process along. But as you can see, the coverage is amazing and the paint goes on perfect. Now we're on to color number two. I chose Haint Blue, and when I pick colors for a barn quilt, I like to have color contrast. So we had picked that really deep, rich, dark Pacific Blue, and now we're gonna use Haint Blue, which is just a really soft, warm blue, and it is going to be a perfect complement to the color Pacific. Paint Blue is actually one of the original cottage colors that came out and it has been a go-to of mine ever since the beginning. I love how warm it is and it, like I said, is a perfect complement to this. And as we're building the barn quilt or adding colors, that's what you're gonna notice. I pick a really dark color and then I pick another lighter color to contrast and I just go back and forth. 
The next color I chose was Barn Quilt, and I love this color, not only because it's named Barn Quilt, but because it's beautiful, but honestly, when I opened up the cottage colors the first time that I received them, and I saw one was named Barn Quilt, I screeched a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what color, and it makes perfect sense because it looks like a barn red almost. So I loved it, and this color really drove this whole project today because I thought if one is named Barn Quilt, it is speaking to me, and I need to make a barn quilt with all the cottage colors. The next color I chose is called Vintage Pink and it is another original cottage color and it was the perfect color to choose for that color contrast against Barn Quilt. It is such a soft, sweet pink and I absolutely love it. One pro tip when using the cottage colors is I always have a little stir stick and every so often I just stir it back up. Sometimes what you'll notice is that the because there is a built-in top coat and it's an all natural product that the top coat and the actual paint separate a bit. So I just keep on stirring it as I'm using and it works perfect. Now we're halfway through the barn quilt and I am adding some green and this is called Juniper and I love how rich this color is and I can see so many possibilities. I actually am thinking about painting a set of end tables this color. It is gorgeous. But again, I am applying just one even coat of the Juniper to the entire four sections and then we're gonna move on to the next color. Vintage Mint is the next cottage color I chose and it was another original and the reason again I chose this color because it's the perfect color contrast against Juniper and I love that I'm able to incorporate some of the original cottage colors and some of the new cottage colors all on one project. This barn quilt does require eight different colors and I wanted to incorporate all the new cottage colors. Unfortunately, there was not enough color contrast, so I chose four originals and four new ones. So on some future videos, I'm definitely gonna be showcasing some of the other new cottage colors. For the last two colors, I went through the entire line and what I chose was Provencial. That is the new cottage color and this is a great neutral, you guys. Uh, for those that love neutral colors, this is perfect. And the complement to this color I really felt was crockery and so I added those neutrals. Uh, I am going to throw out a hint hint in case Jamie Ray Vintage does watch this video. I would love to see the next round of colors. I would love to see some um, mustards or yellows incorporated because I think it would complement all the existing colors so so well. For our very last color, like I said, we're using Crockery. This was an original color as well, and Jamie Ray Vintage definitely hit it out of the park when she came up with this color. Everyone was wanting something that was the color of a crock, and this is spot on, you guys. It has definitely been a very popular color within the cottage color line. Now, the one thing that I really love about the whole line is that all these colors complement each other. And this is a prime example. I used all of these colors in this barn quilt and look at how great they all look together. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the new cottage colors, but now we're gonna go ahead and get distressing and making it look all aged and old. Here is what it looks like before I distress it. So if you do not like that distressed look, you do not need to proceed any further. But guys, I love it. I love a good beat up distressed looking barn quilt. So what I do is I take my hand sander, I put it down to one, it gives me a little bit more control over the hand sander, and I just start sanding. My ultimate goal here is I wanna bring back some of the grain of the wood. If there's a knot, I want that knot to pop out. I really want it to look like it's been on a barn for years and years and it's a bit aged. Mm -hmm. 
The final step on the barn quilts that I do is I apply a distressing mixture. This is kind of like my secret sauce. I have two different colors. One is a little bit lighter, which we're using now, and then there's a darker one. For you to achieve the similar look, I would recommend using like a DIY's dark wax or a black wax, and it will give you a very similar effect. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more of like a distressed look. So I hope today that by walking you through the steps of how I paint a barn quilt uh, will inspire you to try to paint one of your own. What did you guys all think? What was your favorite color out of the six new cottage colors? In the comments, let me know. I definitely want to hear it. I'm still a bit torn, you guys. I'm torn between Juniper and Pacific. I don't know which one I like better. Um, I really want to use the Juniper on a pair of end tables, so you might see that in an upcoming video. Um, Monday's video, though, it's going to be the buffet. I was planning on having it be part of this video. Unfortunately, we started getting a lot of cold weather and rain and it kind of pushed back that portion of this video. So on Monday, you guys are going to see that buffet that I started to work on um, and it will be all finished hopefully by Monday uh, if the weather cooperates. So um, like I said early on in the video, uh, in the description, there is a playlist. It's a collaboration playlist of other creators that you definitely want to see that are showcasing the new cottage colors. So head on down to the description and click on that playlist to watch those. But you guys have yourselves a great weekend and we are going to see you Monday. Bye.